your manager has given you a negative feedback in front of everyone or you have been put in PIP performance improvement plan or your probation period has been extended due to negative feedback or there's a big escalation on your name done by a very important client or stakeholder of the company or you have received any sort of warning letter from HR or from somebody else important or it's the final pink slips. All of these are pretty negative situations and most of the time little difficult to handle because when you get these negative feedbacks you tend to get nervous and your ability to think and respond in these situations shrinks. So I'm here today to let you know some strategies using which you can come out of these negative situations. So like a winner wonderfully where you do not feel that you got defeated by any sort of negative feedback and that will make your life a ton easier and even if you think that as of now you're not in any of such situation then save this video for future because for sure it will help you a lot when you are not able to think for yourself these tips will help you navigate through those situations seamlessly so if that is something that interests you keep on watching So starting with the number one situations which happens very often where your manager walks up to your desk and gives you a negative feedback or comment saying that uh, this is something you have not done right i expected a better job out of you and he or she walks away and then you just keep wondering what just happened your manager just gave you a negative feedback in front of everyone and it's hard to digest i know it is for everybody even for me so here are some actionable steps that you can take post such a scenario Number one, request one-on-one -on -one meeting with your manager. You can request it verbally or you can ask or request this meeting over a chat uh, on some channel or you can even send an email followed by a calendar when your manager says yes. Obviously, your manager will not deny it. He or she will definitely say yes for this. And then what you have to do is you have to very politely educate or make your manager aware about the situations that led you to perform that bad. I mean, whatever the situation was, I'm sure they there is always some background to a poor performance sometimes things are not going well in somebody's personal life sometimes it's tough medically for them they might be facing some health issues or some family issues or some financial issues there can be tons of things so whatever it is share it genuinely share your genuine problem do not try to fake things at this point because your manager can clearly see through so if you share like your genuine problem or you share what's happening behind the scenes then that will that will make your manager loosen up their strict approach and then what you have to do is you have to ask for help or guidance tell that you're facing some difficulty and you would need his or her help to complete the task or to come out of this situation the possibility is when we share some difficult background with a person and then we ask their guidance and help to perform better or to come out of a situation that person psychologically feels obligated to help you or to maybe assign somebody to help you to come out of that situation if you show genuine interest that you want to improve and there is a genuine problem because of which you performed really poor or something whatever went wrong there was some reason for that and now you need your manager's help you need somebody's help to come out of it here you have to really show that you believe in the competence of your manager you know that he or she is the expert that's why you are seeking guidance and help from the manager you have to really show that through your expressions and your talking that please help and guide me on this path something on those lines you have to let them and finally when you are done speaking about the situation and asking for help when you are almost about to end the conversation very politely and assertively request your manager that it will be really great if going forward you can give me these feedbacks one to one because it will help me improve better and I wouldn't be in an awkward situation in front of my peers because that would further impact my performance so it's a genuine request so when you will say that with right tone they will for sure consider it and going forward even if you make any mistake and you're off track your manager will let you know beforehand because you have opened that channel of feedback most of the time it's difficult for the managers as well to share the feedback i've seen so many managers especially who become first-time managers they find it very difficult to give feedback especially negative feedback and they avoid it 
till the time it has gone like out of control and then they give it in a very weird way which is not helpful to the receiver as well and not to the one who is giving it so if you open such channel that person will feel comfortable to give you feedback then and there about anything that has gone wrong that person will not wait for it to come to a situation where the person just want to burst out on you so this type of conversation really helps now moving to our second negative situation which is where you are rated very poor or you have been put in pip pip is performance improvement plan for people who do not know what a pip is so in companies whenever any employee is performing really poor where it's not acceptable at all and the manager really wants to remove the employee so most of the companies unless it's financial reason they do not remove anybody or fire anybody directly they give them time to improve and that time to improve is often called as performance improvement plan which is pip but remember if you are put in pip you can assume that your one leg is already out of the company because somebody is put in pip when it's a hopeless situation but i have seen a lot of employees come out of the situations wonderfully so i am going to share some proven tips that you can apply if you genuinely want to improve and want to stay with that company so as per the process of pip your manager will meet hr manager to show all the proofs that show that you're really lagging behind these can be emails escalation emails from clients customers or peers or maybe some other managers from the company or maybe from some other department so all these evidences are required so that hr manager knows that it's a genuine case and manager is not trying to just put you in pip basis some bias so once your manager submits all the proof to the hr manager then hr manager will prepare your pip case sheet and then you will be called upon and then the hr manager will call you and will show you everything all the proofs that shows that you have not been performing as per the expectations and you really need to improve if you further want to stay with the company and then once you are done reading the hr manager will ask you to sign that document basically what that document says is that you have been found that you are not performing well and the company is giving you 90 days so typically pip is for 90 days within those 90 days if you improve you stay you got to stay with the company if you do not improve you are out of the company that's what a pip document says so now what you have to do is if you disagree with all the claims made by your manager that you're not performing well then open up open up tell your situation to the hr manager and please here only verbal things will not work you will have to produce proofs against each claim made by your manager where it says you are performing poor or some escalation you have to produce the proofs to counter every single claim only then it will work out that way and you have considerable proofs then chances are the hr manager will call your manager as well and then you three will have a discussion together basis what you both have to say and the outcome depends on that meeting now the second scenario where you already know that you have not been performing well in those cases accept it accept it then and there take the responsibility of not performing well on your own shoulders and then the same thing explain to the hr manager that yes there have been some situations because of which you were not able to perform your 100% and you understand the claims made there and you understand the feedback you are taking it very seriously and positively and then assure that you will be working on this and you will improve your 100% and then in that very moment if you need any help ask in that moment only you can even ask this help from your own manager as well if you open up and discuss the same thing with your manager by arranging a meeting with him or her and then as i said in the first step you can discuss everything and you can seek guidance because believe me guys though pip is given basis poor performance it's said to be given uh, for the poor performance but 99% of the time pip cases happen because of bad attitude if you have a huge ego bad attitude that will lead you to pip sooner than the poor performance alone so 
be very careful when you are in such situations and you want to stay back in the company you cannot let your attitude approach come in between you have to settle things with positive approach with assertive approach and while you are in pip seek feedback continuously maybe after a week or after two weeks be in continuous communication with your manager to see how you are improving how they feel that you are doing do not wait for the completion of 90 days to get feedback because by then it will be too late ask feedback and then basis um, those comments try to improve your actions try to improve your performance and if you keep this attitude this approach you will be out of pip sooner than you realize now moving on to the next situation where you have been handed over a probation extension letter rather than a conversion letter now most of the companies hire employees on probation period to begin with and they convert them uh, once their probation period is over probation period have several limitations like there are not many benefits that you can avail they are very limited sick leave some uh, companies even do not give insurance during their probation period so the limitations are many but probation period in itself is not an issue most of the employees clear it seamlessly while only few people get into trouble so if you are one of them and you have got a probation extension letter then what you have to do is number one instead of showing disappointment show your disbelief and ask genuinely from the hr manager that what went wrong this is not something you were expecting and you were performing really good from your side and there must be some gap ask for the genuine feedback chances are hr manager will either give you the feedback directly or he or she might ask you to speak to your manager directly do that if that is the case reach out to your manager request for a one-on-one meeting and in that meeting ask what went wrong ask the expectations uh, from your manager take note of every single thing and then show your manager that you have understood the task really well and now you will perform as per the expectations because you were never a poor performer it seems like they it's happening only because of some gap in what they expected and what you thought make that communication clear you will win 50 percent of the case there only when you have this approach because not many people try to reverse the situation for the majority of the employees who get it they either show their anger or they show their ego or they try to behave as if they do not care and um, they have thousand other jobs waiting for them though there is nothing wrong in those reactions i mean obviously the person is hurt and uh, these are the ways to take out that hurt that hurt emotion so but that's not the smart way because that will not help you in any way this is the approach which is taken by very few people and if you are one of them then i am assuring you you will win 50 percent of the case there only and then once you get the expectations you understand them then you have to perform as per those expectations because that's the key part and again seek the feedback continuously from your manager maybe your uh, every week or every two weeks or every month do not wait for the extension period to get over to see the result that what they are feeling about the, uh, your performance now no seek feedback continuously and you should be out of uh, that extension period very soon now the next situation is where you have received a big escalation from an important client or customer or somebody very important in the company in such situations every single one of us gets into the panic mode what we do either we respond back in anger and we write and say things that do not help us and rather put us in more trouble or uh, we start blaming uh, the thing onto the other team member or somebody just to take off the blame from us that also doesn't help us much or what we do is we totally go silent and uh, pretend like we do not exist in a hope that somebody else will take care of the issue and uh, then we do not have to deal with it so clearly all these three approaches are not going to help you so what is the best way to handle first try to read that email escalation email very carefully why because when we first read that email we are full of anger and in that anger we might overlook some important information some important points so first what we have to do is we have to read the email three four times and take note of every claim every blame that is made into that uh, email on a separate piece of paper not anywhere uh, digital on the piece of paper every single point you have to write i let you know why you have to write every single point and then you have to draft a response starting with T 
taking the responsibility of whatever has happened yes even if you are the partial partner in that mistake that means somebody else was also equally responsible for that mistake even then take the responsibility apologize genuinely and show concern that you are extremely sorry for what has happened and you take full responsibility of the consequence and you have started working in that very moment to reverse the consequences of uh, the situation whatever has happened and then you assure them that this is not going to happen again and then answer each bullet point with your approach of how you are going to solve it now just wait for the magic that this email will do what magic it will do the very first thing that i can guarantee you as a hr it has a psychological effect on the person reading it though the person blamed you so much or maybe took out so much frustration on you in that escalated matter but because you said yes you are the responsible person and you are taking the responsibility and you are assuring that you'll work on it it cools down the other person because their first agenda is to say that this you have done something wrong you are the person because of whom things went wrong they are trying to prove this in the email so you have cooled them down by saying that yes i agree it's me i totally agree so when you do that the other person calms down anyways then they do not have anything to say further to that but if you argue that i am not the one i am not the one i am no way concerned then the loop will continue of the blame game and you never know where that escalation reach and then it impact you in ways which you do not even imagine so you'll cool down the other person the client in the very first step only and then when they start reading that you have a proper plan proper approach to resolve the thing and you have started working on it they would really come back and appreciate your approach and if in reality you are able to reverse those consequences and you are able to help those uh, people to do whatever they were trying to do or complete in a specified time they will give you a great feedback in spite of that big escalation yes that happens the whole situation will turn into your favor now remember i said take the responsibility even if you are a partial partner in that mistake now though you are a partial partner in the mistake mistake has been done by more people but you are the only person who is taking responsibility of it and showing leadership and showing that you will get it corrected and then you get it corrected the sole person who is responsible for that reversal the person who is responsible for the success of the project despite of that escalation is you there is no partner in that and even if there is it will not be counted as much because you took that forefront you responded to that email in such a way that made the whole impact and then in the background what you have to do is you have to talk to your team you have to talk to your manager make them understand what happened and uh, take them in confidence and start working on the solution then and there and try to deliver whatever you have promised in that email believe me you'll receive such a recognition such a success after implementing this approach that you would have not got it otherwise when you were seamlessly performing well and doing all the stuff the happy go lucky way now moving on to the last negative situation on our list which is pink slips now pink slips for people who do not know pink slip are a second name to termination that termination can be um this is the financial situation of the company that termination can be for many other reasons now so honestly guys for pink slips there is no reversal if you're getting terminated if you're getting pink slips there's nothing that you can do about it and there's no use of you arguing with the hr person or whosoever is giving you the pink slip the news there's no use of arguing there is no revisit of the decision because 100% of the time that decision is not of the person who is talking to you that decision has come from a lot higher than you can imagine and yes if you are in disbelief that how can this happen to you how can your manager let this happen to you then let me tell you all of them are aware and it is happening after a lot of discussion between every possible person that you can think of so there is no point in arguing with a person who is giving you this news that can be the hr manager or somebody else and there is no point in requesting to revisit the decision because that's not going to happen i know it's heartbreaking when you get the news and it's very human that you react in anger you react in fear you react in tears 
that's all is fine but i would say do not take it that far that you miss out on your entitlements only try to think beyond that situation and make sure that you are maximizing on your entitlements and you are taking every possible benefit that you can uh, during that time or uh, because of uh, that termination it can be your notice period pay it can be some other benefits or some other money entitlement that you are supposed to get in your anger in your fear of future do not miss out on them so take that gracefully and leave so guys these were the strategies to come out of the common negative situations that we see around us and here is a quick summary of all the points that we discussed and if you still have any queries around these topics you can put them in the comment section down below i'll try to answer them there only if not i'll try to include them in my future videos so that you are aware of things and uh, that helps you somewhere in your career so with that i'm signing off you keep on watching more content on the corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye